Okay, so what we have here, guys, the points P, Q, and R all lie in a straight line. The train P passes through the train P. So train passes point P, and then uh, point P. Again, point P, and uh, what we have is Q and R. Okay. Now we know it's an interval question. We know he's starting off with speed U. Uh, it's it's currently decelerating, isn't it? Yeah. It's decelerating. The train takes 10 seconds to travel from P to Q. Q to Q gives us 10 seconds. If it is in fact a deceleration, I'm expecting Q to R to be smaller. 15 seconds to travel from Q to R, that's okay. And where PQ is equal to QR equals 250. Show that F equals one third. So we want to show that F equals one third. Can I make class tell me what is your UVAS system? UVAST, UVAS. Sorry? P, Q, and P to R. No. Sorry? Uh, it says there. So it says that P, Q equals Q, R equals 125 meters. Okay? Now. So when you look at this, guys. If I was looking at this marking scheme and I was trying to figure out what exactly I'm doing, I'm looking at the 250 and the 125 down the bottom. That's an indication that they used that's an indication that they used uh, P to R. Because P to R's distance is 250. Its acceleration is F. Or we're gonna find F to be a minus number, aren't we? Because it should be negative. Uh, U is still U, V we're not using, we don't know, S is going to be 125, now the time for the first one is going to be 10 seconds, the time for the second one, 15, so guys, we have our data set now, and now it's just a matter of using, yeah, oh 25, Shh. Sorry, 10 plus 15 gets us 25. Now, what we can see from this is that when this goes down, what we can now see is that, uh, what we can now see is uh, what happens in the marking scheme. You're going to input your values, okay? And in their case, they're actually going to use, uh, they're using minus F because F is a deceleration so we can put in minus F keep ourselves in line with them wouldn't make a difference anyway so what we get here is we multiply out we're going to use S equals UT plus a half AT squared for both data sets this is data set PQ this is data set PR so it's 125 for S U times 10 minus a half F times 10 squared 250 equals u times 25 minus a half f 25 squared. So if you want the in between line, it's going to be 10u minus uh, what's it going to be? 50f, is it? Yeah. 50f, and the other one's going to be 250 equals uh, 25u minus uh, half. 25 squared, half 25 squared is 312.5, I think. Yeah, some ridiculous for that, 312.5. 312.5f. Now that's the in between. It's a simultaneous equation. Market scheme decides to do is it decides to reduce u down to, it wants to reduce u down to one u in both cases. We're allowed to do that if we want. Okay? I suppose if we were doing this, we might, uh, I suppose we'd be inclined to do the same thing. Otherwise, you're going to get really big numbers. So, 
let's divide everything by 10. So when you divide everything by 10, equation A and B, they'll turn into equation A and B down here. So you're going to divide A by uh, 10, and you're going to divide B by 25. Is everybody with me there? Because uh, both turn into that. Then you got to multiply one by minus. I'll multiply the uh, second one by minus. Minus, minus, plus. And what we're going to get is uh, 2.5 equals 7.5F. F therefore equals 1 over 3. Now guys, if we didn't use minus F over here, what would have happened? We would have just got F equals minus a third instead. It's still the same answer. So it doesn't matter if you use minus F or plus F over here. It just means you have to recognize that it's a deceleration and that it should be a minus one third. Are we happy enough with that? Okay, now currently we're on 20, by the time we get to F equals uh, one third, we're on uh, 25 out of, uh, sorry, 15 out of the, I think it's a 25 mark question, okay? Now, what we're asked to do next is, uh, what we're asked to do next is we go back to the top and goes, if the train comes to rest S meters after passing R, find S giving your answer correct to the nearest meter. Okay, so what happens here was we said earlier that it goes P, P, Q, R, and all of a sudden it comes to rest at S a further distance down the line. P to R was 250 meters, as discussed earlier. Now, once we found out the F value, we substitute back in F and we get U equals 12.5 uh, plus 5F. U therefore equals 12.5. Now, what's 5F? 5 over 3. And we can just say it's 85 over 6 meters per second, okay? So that's what U is there. So is F the deceleration? F is the deceleration and U is the initial speed. So 1 over 3, like MS? Uh, MS to minus 1 for U and deceleration MS minus 2 okay. for deceleration. Okay, now what you're asked next is we now have a new data set that we're looking to use. The new data set is going to be, uh, let's get rid of all this for a second. The new data set is going to be uh, duh, duh, duh. new data set is going from P to S. Now we use ask P to S, and what is our goal in this question? What are we looking to find? If you go back up to the top, you're looking to find the distance to the nearest meter. Find S. Now. Train comes to rest S meters after passing R. So technically, S meters is this distance here, isn't it? And we're actually going to end up finding the distance from P all the way to S. So whatever our answer is, we're going to have to remove 250 from it to find out what our answer is. So, what you're going to do here, make your data set. U is 85 over 6. What is V this time around? Zero. Zero, because it says you stop here. What's A? One Minus one over three. S, we don't know. T, we haven't got a clue. What What should you use next? It's the next part of the marking scheme. It tells you what to use, okay? V squared equals U squared plus two AS. So, 0 squared equals 85 over 6 squared um, plus 2 times minus a third times s. 85 over 6 squared, move it to the other side. Anybody want to tell me what that number is? Just use a calculator you have in front of you. 85 over 6 squared. What do we get? Um, was it? 200.694. point six nine four. That's what I, I'm going to bring out to your side and I'm going to get it as a negative number. 
It's yeah, it's roughly like it's roughly six into that. Fourteen is roughly fourteen squared, you're right. So it's roughly it should be over 196. And then uh, this here is going to be equal to minus two thirds s. Will somebody then divide this 200.964 divided by minus two thirds? And tell me what the s value is. So you're going to divide this number here by, min uh, by minus 2 over 3. Minus 301 point uh, So 301.016. 04. Okay, let's see if that's what it came out as. Yes, it is. 301.04. Now, as discussed before, we have the green distance from here to here. The definition of the question says that S is the distance you carry on after R. So we're going to take away 250 from 301.04. We're going to find out that that's 51 meters to the nearest meter. Is that right? 51 meters to the nearest meter? Go to the Okay. Now, 